first episode of Hot Topics. So in light of recent events, particularly the Parkland shooting in Florida, which is really tragic to hear about, my social media news feeds have been a buzz about gun control and things like this. It just highlighted the fact and reminded me of this myth about Israel that a lot of visitors come and they see people everywhere carrying guns, they're soldiers usually, and also they see pictures like this and this and this and they think it's really uncomfortable, there are guns everywhere, and it gives the myth that everywhere in Israel there are guns and that it's a very dangerous place for people who come to Israel and they see like tons of people everywhere are carrying guns, you're on the bus and soldiers are carrying their guns home or you're on the beach and you see these girls in their bikinis and they have guns but actually those are soldiers who are on leave. There are really really strict rules about storing your guns and if you can't store it somewhere safe then you need to watch it yourself. So that's kind of how that situation happens. So this made me curious for myself actually to find out what are the gun control laws in Israel. I want to preface this with this is not my opinion, I'm not here to tell anyone what I think about gun control. I just wanted to kind of clarify why you see a lot of guns around in Israel and, and actually just clear up like what are the literal laws of gun control. So I found a few different articles that were really interesting and I will link all of them below. I just want to read you some of the things that I found out that were extremely interesting. The US is the number one firearms per capita in the world which is one firearm per capita, second to Yemen with 0.29 to 0.81 firearms per capita, and Israel actually came in 81st with 0.073 firearms per capita. So I found a really useful Facebook post circulating around my news feeds by someone named Nuri McBride, thank you Nuri, and they broke down all of the rules and regulations for owning a gun in Israel. So I'm just going to read that to you guys and I will link the articles and this post in the description below if you want to read them for yourself. So 40% of applications for firearms in Israel are actually rejected and there are only 170,000 active permits currently circulating in Israel for a population of 8.5 million citizens. Only a small group of people are eligible for firearm licenses and primarily these go to high-ranking retired military officers, police officers, prison guards, security guards, and animal control officers. And there are a small number of permits for settlers in the West Bank and hunters. For those who have completed military service, you can apply for one of these permits at age 21. If you have not completed military service but are a citizen, you have to wait until you're 27. And if you're a non-citizen resident, you have to wait until you're 45. Applicants must be a resident for Israel for at least three consecutive years before applying. You must pass an extensive background check, including criminal check, national security check, health exam, and mental evaluation. When applying for the permit, you must establish a genuine reason for possessing the firearm. Those who receive their permits are limited to owning one gun, and they are also limited to their ammo. According to this post, they have an annual supply of 50 bullets. In extremely rare cases, you can purchase another gun, but you must justify every gun purchase separately. You must pass a multi-week weapons training course, you have to renew your license and pass a shooting course every three years. You have to undergo a psychological assessment every six years. You must have a safe at your residence in which to keep your firearm. There is 100% tax on firearms and you pay thousands of shekels to qualify for your license and hundreds of shekels each year to keep your license. There are enormous legal repercussions if your gun is ever mishandled, misfired, injures anyone unjustly, or used in a crime, even if you're not the person that commits the crime, and you are not allowed to sell your gun to anyone but a registered dealer or to the police. I just found that all of this was really interesting. I think it's just really important to clarify for people that all of these see guns everywhere, we do have a very, very low amount of gun violence. And that's all I wanted to share with you today. If you have a certain question about Israeli society or a hot topic that you want me to research and tell you about, please leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to get it for you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe and share it with your friends if you think they'll find it interesting. Until next time, bye!